Hello and welcome. In this video, we're solving for x and we're dealing with absolute value. Now, one of the basic properties of absolute value that we're going to utilize here is that the absolute value of x, right, if it equals c, let's say, then x is going to equal plus or minus c. Uh, as a number example, let's say you have the absolute value of 3. Um, or, excuse me. Let's say the absolute value of a number is 3. What two numbers have an absolute value of 3. Well, x could be a positive 3 or a negative 3. In either case, remember, absolute value is distance from 0. In either case, the absolute value of uh, positive 3 is 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So if the absolute value of x equals 3, x could be a positive or negative 3. And this is true for any term inside the absolute value bracket. So to solve here, I'm going to subtract 3. I'm going to isolate my absolute value term. And then I'm going to divide by 4. That's 12 divided by 4 on both sides, or like this. And we have the absolute value of 3 minus x equals 3. So this tells me the absolute value of 3 minus x equals 3. Okay, well, then 3 minus x could equal a positive 3, or 3 minus x could equal a negative 3. So that's, we're using that property right here. So here, I'm going to add x over to the right and subtract 3 to the left. And I get x equals 0. And over here, I'm going to add x to the right and left, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to add it over here and add 3 back here. So x equals 6. If you plug them in, you can see this is true. That if x is 6 or x is 0, the absolute value would be 3. Because 3 minus 0 is 3, and the absolute value of 3 is 0. And 3 minus 6 is negative 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. 